16 years old, you walk by a kingdom hall. Today we're going to walk by a kingdom hall and actually go into one. What was your reaction as a Catholic thinking about Jehovah's Witness? I used to have a girlfriend who lived probably a couple miles from my house, so I walked over there as often as I could. And as I walked to her home on Rocky River Drive, Rocky River Drive, Cleveland, Ohio, Cleveland, Ohio, I would pass a building and it said Kingdom Hall on it. Oh Lord! And I knew Jehovah, and it was all exactly. But what I remember Jehovah most Jehovah. vividly was my feeling about this. Who were these people? Mm-hmm. Wait, if that's your first reaction, don't you think something's Catholic. wrong? I mean, I'm 16. If you walk by some people and you say, what? I have a pope who can't make mistakes on matters of faith and morals. Oh, I did too. Um, Yeah, I'm a Jehovah's Witness. I had the same thing. I'm an Irish Catholic. Oh, I'm not just an uh, JW. I'm an Elvish kid. At least in my limited 16-year-old vision was Irish. In the 80s, Jesus was blonde. They were everywhere. What are you talking about? Bishop Holbin, Cleveland. In the 80s, Jesus was born! So, you know, I was so grateful that I'm a Catholic. Mm-hmm. I'm so grateful and, uh, I was born into the truth. I'm going to live too hard again. In this, what goes on in there? Oogly boogly. Ooh. It's a Masonic hall. Educate yourself. And I, as, the more I thought about it... Kingdom halls were if, designed... If I had been politically conscious... Which by I Masons! By sixteen. They have the same layout as a Masonic temple. I'm not proud to, but you know, if you you don't understand the problem, if you don't at least confront your own, you can't rise above this and say, oh, how could people do that? The nation was coming down on these people. I mean, I, I have a mental picture of little William Gobitis, third grade. You're so full of shit. Holding on to the pocket of his bridges. Or the teacher tried to pull his arm up. Oh, it's terrible. Oh. I just can't imagine being in the third grade and being the only kid. That's the worst thing you can imagine. Who won't salute the flag. Mm-hmm. And how, how brave these little kids were. And how... Oh, my God. How reverent and obedient they were. Stop! Stop! And how, how reverent and obedient they were. Bingo! You nailed it. We finally get to the heart of the matter. Phil, Phil Honahue on Jehovah's Witnesses Gobitis. 19 fucking 40. What the hell is this? How dare you? To their parents. And we. How beat up dare you? Says they came into town to solicit. We hated Remember that word soliciting. The door in the middle of the morning of Sunday when you're in your bathrobe and trying to read the Wait, paper wait, the let me get this straight. The people in your town beat up Jehovah's Witnesses for knocking on the door on Sunday morning and they thought it was, it was annoying to them. I'm going to rewind just, I, am I missing something here? Let me let me rewind this just a just a touch, just a tiny bit. I mean, I don't want to miss one of your beautiful words, Phil Honeyhue. And we we beat up those adults as they came in. You town dick! To solicit. We hated these people. They knocked on the door in the middle of the morning of Sunday when you're in your bed. You hated people for knocking on your coffee. door when you're when you're sitting in your cigarette jacket. On a Sunday morning, drinking orange juice and smoking cigarettes. You're you are senile. And the knock on the door drove people crazy. It, knock a knock on the door drove people crazy, and that's why Jehovah's Witnesses had to be beaten. You are so full of shit. This is record breaking. I've never seen anything like it. And, you know, the more you look at this, you can see we're at war. 
Americans are dying in the Pacific, European theater. People die everywhere every day. You know People what? People dying. Have, wouldn't have lived the flag. Mm. What did you always... What the fuck is this? You cannot overstate the contempt, the loathing that we had for those... Um, I'm going to, I'm going to break here. There's more. There's more. I, I, I can't, I, I just can't watch this man. This, this man is, is beyond idiotic. This, this is one of the, uh, um, it, well, it's, I, I don't want to, um, I don't want to take up too much of your time here, folks. Uh, basically, this is a gag video for me. We have here, uh, you may recognize this man, Phil Honahue. He had a baking and cooking show in the 1980s, and it was legendary stuff. Um, it was, I, I, why, why are we even here? I don't remember. Oh, he's talking about Jehovah's Witnesses. And he's going to explain how these people are misunderstood. Oh, it's terrible. Look, look at that face. How could you say no to that face? Mm -hmm. I was ready to beat the shit out of a Jehovah's Witness until Phil Donahue shamed me. Oh, the shame. The shame of it all. Well, the good news is Jehovah's Witnesses are eating this up. You fucking Illuminati tool. Um, I'm sorry, friends. I'm calming down now. Um, it's... I... I missed my cartoons this morning, so I'm very irritated. I... I... I was coaxed into falling asleep by my, uh, by my little cat, Snowbell. And I was asleep for hours, woke up irritated. And I, I got it. The reason I'm, what am I even doing here? Oh, I got a comment that really cheesed me off. We have a problem here. Phil Donahue was talking about the 1940s and Jehovah's Witnesses, uh, being... D discriminated against, persecuted. Um, to me, it is, it's, uh, it's, this is so ridiculous on so many levels. It's literally, I've been meaning to address this for a few weeks and I haven't got around to it. It's too painful. This is too brain racking. It's so stupid. This is so stupid. The, this this man is it, he's uh, I it's it's beyond idiotic that this man with a straight face is telling you the reason that Jehovah's Witnesses were tarred and feather run out of town on a rail uh, beat up uh, oh in West Virginia they put ropes around their neck but he's explaining to you that and it was he he seems to be indicating without without incriminating himself he seems to be uh indicating that he was complicit in this in some way i imagining he was young no this man was never young he was less old uh than he he uh a somewhat younger phil donahue is is kind of uh, it's i i don't know is this a confession is this a catholic thing he seems to be saying that people in his town, maybe he was one of them, maybe he wasn't, but you couldn't blame him for wanting to throw a stone at these people. But you have to understand, it's because they wouldn't salute the flag and there was people dying. Um, you know what? 20 years ago, I was someone completely different than I am now. 10 years ago, I was somebody completely different than I am now. I don't even know the person. I don't even recognize the person. I don't remember what the person was thinking. My, myself 10 years ago is not, it has nothing to do with the human being that I am now. I, part of that, I've come to terms with that. Part of that is understanding that time, what, what we call time may actually be snapshots. Uh, piece together uh, like a film reel and that time may, may be actually a series of nows that occur now 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 and nothing is really connected so I, I have a great I just full disclosure here I have a great sense of leeway and, and when 
for people that have done things in their life or seen things differently in their life, I get it. I understand it. I got a problem with this video now, today. What happened in 1940 is it's gone. Doesn't matter. The way that this video is being framed, presented to people, makes me want to slap someone. That's how demeaning and insulting this tripe is. And people, 34 fucking thousand views. Jesus Christ. Um, we have, uh, I'm sorry, I'll wrap this up, friends. You don't have all night. Um, basically, we have a situation here where Jehovah's Witnesses in the 1940s, Phil Donahue here? Phil Donahue felt were completely misunderstood. And that's what was going on. I don't think people misunderstood each other. He, oh, walking by a kingdom hall. What a strange word. Kingdom hall. So strange. There, first of all, if you go back, I'm not going to rewind this video. I'm almost tempted to. Kingdom hall. He was ta talking about he's walking past the kingdom hall. But it was just so strange. What goes on in there? Oogly Boogly? It, 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 stop there. Oogly Boogly is precisely what goes on in that building. It is Oogly Boogly. You're trying, you're, you're, you're phrasing this completely wrong. You're saying, oh, if only I had known that Oogly Boogly wasn't going on in that building, then I shouldn't have thrown the rock. What? You don't throw rocks at people because it's wrong. <coughs> You dick! I wouldn't throw a I wouldn't throw a rock at a bug. You and your your friends, your family, whoever the fuck you say it's everyone everyone in your town, maybe you too, but you know, mostly just the people back then threw rocks at Jehovah's Witnesses because we had we misunderstood and thought that Ookly Bookly was happening. Ah! Oogly Boogly is precisely what's going on in that building. It's completely separate from the issue of you th thinking it's okay to throw rocks at people. Or I don't think you think that's okay now. You did back then and you're trying to, you're trying to iron it out? I don't even, what, what are you doing? You're trying to, you're, you're trying, I think you're trying to, uh, you're, you're trying to look through the periscope backwards and and make I, I I don't know if this is are you looking at Americans are you looking at at, at uh, it, it seems like you're looking backwards in retrospect but trying and trying to make like you're doing it like a, like a filmmaker and trying to understand all the components but you've got them completely wrong. Um, anyway, Phil Donahue, you, you people can watch this video on your old time if you, if you care enough. I, I've, I've, I'm losing, I'm losing steam here. Um, he's basically, he's talking about, uh, how in, in his, in his classroom when he was in third grade, the teacher really wanted little Billy Jackwad to raise his hand and salute the flag. Bill, and little Billy, oh, he held on to his pocket. He wouldn't do it. Oh, because he, and then, and, and, uh, Phil Donahue, in very, oh, in, in very sad, shameful terms, is now, in retrospect, admiring young Billy for being obedient. Do you see, do I have to draw this out for you people here? This is compulsion. This is coercion. He talks about little Billy being brave. What are you off on? Do you really think a seven-year-old is taking his stand in life? Do you, do you know what seven-year-olds think about? They think about... Drawing with with markers, in playing with with building constructor sets, whatever kids did in the nineteen forties. Do you really think a seven year old is aware of World War Two geopolitical events, the meaning of life, God, religion? Do you do you think a seven year old is cognizant of any of this?
Their brains are still... <coughs> they're st they're st their brains are still soft. I I'm sorry. I'm sorry. For this is the second time I've tried to do this video. I'll lose it. I, 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 don't, I don't know if I'm going to be able to get through this. This is uh, uh, enraging. Enraging. Anyway, I left a comment on this fucking video. Um, just, uh, just out of curiosity, <coughs> um, I'm just going to read this comment to you. Um, it, it is, the comment is what it is. It, it's, I didn't put a lot of thought into it, which I don't. A lot of people, uh, have been pointing out, like, a lot of my videos, people have been pointing out that I say, oh, you say things that are technically not 100% true, or are debatable, or are arguable, arguable. I'm not interested in that. If you're interested in facts about Jehovah's Witnesses, there's a site. It's called JW Facts. My channel is called JW Fairy Tales. I responded to Phil Donahue as uh, JW Fairy Tale. I was one of those brave JW kids, and I will tell you, Phil Donahue, it was not bravery. It was simple fear. Fear of being caught by parents. Fear of being told on by other JW kids. Fear of being struck down in Armageddon by Jehovah, the cruel asshole God. I got my ass whipped until it was raw and bloody because I brought home a rubber balloon from a classroom party in 1985. The blind obedience that Phil Donahue admires so much is nothing but emotional blackmail and mind control used to used against children. Hitler Youth. You are supposed to be an investigative reporter, Donahue. Fail. Time to retire. Um, I don't know. You just seem really old to me. You seem really old and really out of touch. And for someone to do investigative reporting or whatever, I don't even, I don't even know what you do. You are officially some sort of journalist. I guess. I, 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 I. Um... Uh, full disclosure here, friends, I did not, this did not happen. I did not get whipped, uh, because I brought home a rubber balloon in 1985. I made that up. Oh, I know. Oh, I tricked you. Oh, I'm awful. Ah, that didn't happen, but it could have happened. Um, my parents, it, my, my parents are very kind people. They, they've, nothing like this happened, but, um, it did happen to someone else though. Joshua Triban, a boy that I was kind of friends with at the Kingdom Hall back in the 1980s did bring home a, it was a balloon or a pencil or some piece of shit from a birthday party at school and he got whipped. And it was in it was in first grade or something like that. I remember it happening. He got whipped for bringing something home. It didn't happen to me. But the thing is, Joshua Triband is probably a JW somewhere doing the same thing to his kids. <laughs> the reason I have to uh, in, uh, embellish the truth at times, friends, it's you'd be scared if you know how much of it is actually true. But the thing is, people that have actually been through these horrors in life usually aren't still making a video about it on a Saturday night for no reason. I, I'm the one here to, to, you know, uh, anyway, this, the story here is not about me. It, it's about fear versus integrity, uh, which I, I, I think, I don't, I don't think this man, Phil Donahue or these, or the people who are reading this, watching this, commenting on this, can differentiate anything about the two. And I think this is a discussion worth having. This is a topic I'm very interested in. And I think Phil Donahue has done it such a gross injustice here. I just, I just, out of curiosity, I typed this and posted this just to see what people, I, I, I'm wondering, what are Jehovah's Witnesses going to say about this? You really believe that kindergartners and first graders when they have their teacher trying to make them... By the way, I did have people try to coax me into saluting the flag when I was a little boy. This is, this is not outrageous, imaginary, uh, la-la land stuff. And I grew up in the 80s. And I had teachers that tried to 
Uh, I, I, who knows the motivations? But I did have teachers that really, uh, oh, yeah, you're going to miss the, you, you really want to go sit out in the hallway? You could be in here with us. Um, you know, that's another, I'll, I'll let you discuss, you, you all can discuss amongst yourselves, but pressure, intimidation, whatever, it's people thinking they're doing the right thing, battling against people that also think they're doing the right thing, I don't know, I don't know, but what I can tell you is when you're one or, or two, kids in school are one or two, that's what I wanted to tell you, uh, when you're in first grade or second grade, you're not taking a moral stand about anything. Do you get that? When you're in grade school, you are not taking a stand of conscience that, uh, conscious, excuse me, that Phil Donahue can admire 50 years later. That's bullshit. That is what you are full of shit. What are you talking about? And then in the same breath, I mean, not two sentences later, he said he said that the kids did it out of obedience, and he's and, and he's and, and he's doing this in glowing ad admiration. Don't you understand? It's no difference between. And you're talking about oh, I was raised Catholic. What's the difference? Well, I thought I was a good Catholic because I did what I was told. Well, what's the difference between a JW doing what they're told? What 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 about all these patriotic people doing what they're told? Do you understand? All, all the people in America think that they are, do, when they salute the flag, by the way, to this day, I'm 35 years old, you can't pull my hand out of my pocket and make me salute the flag. I'm not going to do it. Ah, you could probably make me, I'm pretty soft, I'm pretty weak. You could probably force me to raise my fucking hand into a goddamn hail Hitler or hail Jehovah, hail America, whatever. I, I, I don't have much fight left in me, so you could probably compel me to do that. In fact, I'd probably do it for a nice big slice of pizza because I'm getting to where I don't care anymore. But here's the thing. I, I, I do not pledge allegiance to the United States of America. Part of it is because I was, at, at a young age, I, uh, I was made to see the futility in it. To quote, to quote my good friend Lucius V. Boogeyman, Jehovah's Witnesses are conditioned to be atheists. Jehovah's Witnesses are essentially atheist. You've discredited, uh, you've dis you've discredited every other belief system in the world for the purpose of reinforcing the Jehovah's Witness belief system, and then once that's gone, there's nothing left. So essentially, Watchtower is creating atheists, and I nationalism. I have no illusions. I you will never see me with a with a bumper sticker with a, or or singing country music or standing in the back of a truck. It's never gonna happen. You are never gonna see me in a Fourth of July parade. It, it it's it's it has nothing to do with. I'm calming down now, friends. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I've put you through this again. I don't know why I keep doing this to all of us, but. Um, anyway, I, I posted this comment because I, I, I was interested in this, this, this confusion about... Now, Phil Donahue, by the way, I do completely excuse you. Phil Donahue, if you threw rocks at Jehovah's Witnesses 70 years ago, 60 years ago, whatever... 70 years ago. My God, think about how much people have changed, how much... How much one individual human changes in 70 years? I mean, just, I mean, I mean, fathom it. I, seven months ago, I was someone different than I am now. Um, uh, anyway, it's, I, I, I don't, I want you, uh, Phil Donahue, if you did something in 1940 and you have this guilt about it, or your, or your family, it seems, I, I, I don't know what you're, what you're getting at, it seems like your, I think your dad had something to do with this, so, some, somebody, somewhere, you're, you're feeling this guilt towards Jehovah's Witnesses, and you're trying to make it right by, by going backwards and making them conscientious objectors, and, and people that just were so, they uh, were so, their, their intentions were so pure. They're, 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 uh, they just, you couldn't pull the hand out of their pocket because they were, but then the words come out, so obedient. Well, 
That's what it's really about, obedience. Um, Jehovah's Witnesses are more afraid of Jehovah than, than 1940s Americans were of communist or appearing to be, you know, where, you know, uh, yeah, whatever, the, I, I wasn't even there. Jehovah's Witnesses are just like Catholics or red-blooded Americans or anyone else. They're just taking the path of least resistance most of the time, 90% of the time. Uh, J JW Kids, I mean... You get to be my age and you're still a Jehovah's Witness, you're a full-blown psychopath. Uh, when you're a kid, you're probably in the wrong place at the wrong time. And jo Phil Donahue making this into a mountain of that he it's like he wants to make a movie about it and have the soaring violin music in the background. Don't let's not do this. Um the thing is there was uh, he um uh, he, he, he's way, he's way, way and off the Supremes, for a lot of reasons. Salute. And expelled kids who wouldn't. Over a thousand injuries. Made them drink castor oil and Wheeling, West Virginia, put a rope around there and it marched them around. The indignities and the brutality. The cops would take part in some of these beatings. And the Supremes took it back. Mm -hmm. Through the Supremes took it back in the 1960s. What a oh, I love the Supremes. What a what great music. Um, the uh, anyway, I'm going to cut this short. Phil Donahue seems to be confused about what 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 fuels Jehovah's Witnesses. He thinks it's their pacifism. He, he's, I, I don't know, he's martyring these Jehovah's Witnesses when it, it's not really the case. Do you understand that if it, it was, if it was flip-sided, if Jehovah's Witnesses outnumbered you, you're talking about the brutality, the cruelty. Oh, Buck, you don't, buddy boy, you don't know what's in store. Jehovah's Witnesses are only the victims here because you or your clan outnumbered them in the 1940s. Buddy boy, you, you have no idea what's going on. You want to flip the script on this and imagine that Jehovah's Witnesses outnumber you? You wouldn't make it till mealtime. You want to talk about cruelty and brutality. I've seen it. These people get in their house of oogly boogly, anything goes. You want to talk about beatings? I've known elders that beat their families in front of people. You want to talk about people getting beaten? You sitting in your New York City apartment, you don't know anything about it. You want to see cruelty and depravity? Go into a kingdom hall. You're a reporter. Have you ever even been in there? Do you think cults are... What, what do you think is going on here? Do you think good things happen to people? Do you, do, you think, do you think that Jehovah's Witnesses are, what, what, what do you think is going on? Do you think that you go in there and it's, it's like Roger Rabbit walking into the cartoon land? What? I'm, I'm, I'd really like to know what's going on in your stupid senile, what, 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 your, your delusions of 1940s Leave it to Beaver America. You, it, you think that a, that a high, no, no, let's take the word cult out of the equation. You think that a high control group is doing, is not, they control people to the point to where a little boy will not obey his teacher. This little kid is seven, eight. I don't understand. And, and, and a full grown adult is trying to pull their arm out of their pocket and telling them, it's okay. It's okay. And, the, and the little boy is so scared that he's stuffing his hand in his pocket and going limp. Who, what, what, what is he doing? This, this is a normal thing to you? Um, again, I think Phil Donahue is looking, I think he's looking too high. He's looking at the adult that's trying to pull the arm out of the kid's pocket. And he's not zooming back the camera lens and saying, wait, 
Why would a kid fight against his own teacher so so ferociously, just to hold holding onto his pocket and saying, "No, no, don't make me do it." What what what's the what, is, uh, holding up your hand like all the other other kids? Which, by the way, I'm not in favor of. But you're not. You've never wondered. You, as a reporter, have never wondered why would a child go from being just a normal kid doing their little schoolwork on their desk to just being in such fear that they have to grab their pocket. They fear. Oh, they fear God. Oh, they fear Jehovah. Oh, I mean, they love Jehovah. Oh, uh, but they. It's fear and love are the same thing. We learn. We learned that at the Kingdom All. No, you didn't have the benefit of a godly fear district convention, Phil Donahue. Fear, oh, call up a kingdom hall. They'll explain it to you. We love and fear Jehovah at the same time. Oh, uh, by the way, Jehovah is invisible and you never see him or talk to him. Uh, so uh, the elders, adults, will be per portraying Jehovah for the purposes of this uh, yeah, scene here. Jehovah is angry, but he will be portrayed by the elders, by Jehovah's Witnesses. I, uh, that's the question that never occurred to this reporter. What would make a child so fearful of what was going to happen to him that he wouldn't obey his teacher, and this seven-year-old is having to decide between fighting against an adult three times his size or lifting his arm in the air for just a second. Who made him that afraid? Oh, it's not a fear, it's obedience. Ah! There's the key word, obedience. And how do you get people to uh, obey you? Do you think they really just explained to a seven-year-old how important it was to obey? And that's why the seven-year-old would never disobey again. Seven-year-olds don't have that sort of developed mind. It's why seven-year-olds aren't allowed to make decisions even for themselves. They, aren't, they don't even pick out their own clothes. They don't decide what they're going to eat for lunch each day because they're seven years old. <laughs> this guy, and he's going to martyr a seven-year-old. Seven-year-old. Am I, well, am, I, am I the only one that thinks this is, this is all normal to everyone else? I'm the only one that thinks this is crazy. Obedience is the key word. And I guess the point of the video is that it's not, it's, it's, all, it's all the same, it's all the same system. Do you understand that? We're all cogs in the same machine. These are, we're all just different wheels turning. And, Jeho and you're, you're saying, oh, we thought Jehovah's Witnesses were one of the bad wheels. We, we, we thought we were the good wheel, but in fact, we were the, the wheel that was uh, uh, mis misaligned. And Jehovah's Witnesses were the properly aligned wheel. And you're missing the larger point that you're all wheels in the same machine. Do you really think, have you ever zoomed out the lens and thought about this? What is the difference between Jehovah's Witnesses, Catholics, eh, 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 uh, secular Americans paying their taxes, bowing down, obedient. It's all obedience. They're all obeying the same people. It's all the same system. Jehovah's Witnesses, it's just an extreme end of it. They were created by the same people. They were, they're obeying the same people. The same people that created Jehovah's Witnesses are the same people that put the pyramid on the dollar bill that you put in your wallet and you think that makes you who you are, Phil Donahue, because you have $1.2 million in a bank account of these. You have these pieces of paper and you think you've got it figured out. And we're supposed to watch you and you're supposed to explain this to us. You dick. Um, you're senile. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm, I guess, you know what? If we were in a nursing home and I was an orderly and I was talking to you, to you this way, it'd be, it would be awful, wouldn't it? Um, I, I just, I, I have to keep imagining a wheelchair behind you. That, that helps me calm down. Okay, I'm calming down. And I'm sorry, everyone. Um, I'll let you get back to your nights. I just wanted to, the reason I, the reason I posted this comment, I don't, I, yeah, yeah. I just was curious to, I, I want, I want my viewers to understand everything I do or, or say, I, I, I hope you don't take any of it to heart. None of it is real. I'm not an authority on, on really anything 
other than abuse and mind control. And, and I, I, I'm not... I. I'm not somebody that is trying to set the world straight on anything. Do you get that? I, I'm tr my only purpose in being here, it, it, it's kind of a... I'm hoping that someone smarter than me can make something of all this. I'm hoping that, that someone who has gone to college for 10 years will be able to, to look after I'm dead, will be able to, to, to say, what a strange man. And, and they're going to look at the little recordings and home videos I made and make something of it and say, what, what happened to this fellow? Ooh, what? And they're going to, they're, they're going to say, this man is scrambled. It's like Humpty Dumpty and they're trying to put him back together again. What do you think? How do you think this comes about? How, how do you think that, did you think, and I've made videos about this and I've never gotten a straight answer for someone. Do you think I, do you think I started watching porn on my phone or something like that? Ah, it's all downhill from there. What, what is your theory? I'm going to read a couple of comments here and then I'm going to let you good people get back to your uh, evening dinners. I don't want you to, I don't want you to be like Phil Donahue and I knock on your door while you're trying to have breakfast and so you hate me. And you'll, we'll later we'll tie a rope around your neck. Because there is a war, don't you understand that? There's always a war. Um, you, you know, I got, I, I, I guess this was three months ago. And, um, I just, again, it's just something I made up out of it. Just, it's a test. I, I want to see what people respond to this. And most of them are religious comments that I won't, I won't waste your time with. It's, there, there's a couple of people started having a, and some, and some of the comments got erased by people. Maybe they came to their senses. Jesus Christ! 220 lines? Um, anyway, but this last one is what cheesed me off. I don't know why. I, 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 I come to expect it, but it's never. I never. And I, Jehovah's Witnesses, I can finish their sentences for them, and it still blows me away. I can't know what's happening to me. First and foremost, you have to have the right heart condition to serve Jehovah. That was profound. It cannot be out of fear. What? What, what is godly fear? What, every, like, there's, I guess there's, you know, a dozen or, or two dozen magazines come out every year, and half of them have an article about fear, and the appropriate place of fear, and how we can't live our lives without fear, and we don't want to forget our fear. And now you have Jehovah's Witnesses with cognitive dissonance telling you it cannot be out of fear. What say do if you, if you have a Watchtower library punch in the word fear and I just just watch that screen scroll down fear um is we have another case of Jehovah's Witness are they are they this mixed up in their mind or are they or do they know that something doesn't sound good and so they have for Phil Donahue's sake they have to, they have to parse their words and they have to season with salt. It has to be a love of God and truth that motivates you. If you remember, Jehovah dignified man and the angels with free will. Wait, we just, we just, we just heard Phil Donahue talking about, oh, the great thing about this little boy, the great thing about all this that happened was the obedience of it. And that's what Phil Donahue wanted to hammer home. It's not that the, it's not that the uh, people persecuting Jehovah's Witnesses were being obedient to the Catholic Church. It was that the Catholic Church was technically wrong about the issue. And so the Jehovah's Witnesses obe oh, being obedient to their rulers was actually technically the right thing to do in this situation. Don't you see? The obedience is right in both cases, but they were technically, one should have been more obedient than the other. Free will. I'm, I, I, is anyone else shaking their head at all this? Di, a Jehovah's Witness telling you about free will. The right to choose how they live their lives. It's too, it's too rich for me even to take a bite of this red velvet cake. The, the right 
to choose how they live their lives. A Jehovah's Witness, actually, they're, 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 that's crossing their lips. A, a Jehovah's Witness, an actual real-life Jehovah's Witness sat and typed that. Well, you have made your decision. Please don't blame others. Enjoy your life. <laughs> uh, anyway, I just want to share that with you good people this evening. Uh, a Jehovah's Witness, by the way, who, who has no idea that I'm lying and ma I made up the story? Oh, I'm, I'm guilty. I'm guilty. I'm a liar. Somebody, somebody called me out on that the other day. They said, uh, it was uh, it, it, some, video, some video where some man with a beard said, you're a liar. And I said, yeah, you just figured out how many, how long have you been watching? You just figured out I'm a liar? That just dawned on you. How, the question is, how did I get to be so good at lying? How did I, how, I've been a Jehovah's Witness my whole life. How did I get to be, and by the way, I can bullshit anybody. I could, boy, I could sell used cars. I really could. It never, the, the, I think what, I think what infuriates me is that I watch videos on, on topics such as these and people are asking the wrong questions. And Phil Donahue, God bless him, he doesn't, he doesn't even seem to think that there is a question. This is all retrospect for him that he's waxing idiotic. He's, he's waxing over all these things and not asking the question, why? Why would, why would a teenage boy, why would it even cross his mind to pick up a rock and throw it at some weird religious people? Well, he's been conditioned by the American white power system, whatever, to, and if it's, if it's not normal, if it's not normal, if it's not the status quo, if it doesn't look normal, throw a rock at it. Because that is what life has trained us to, it's, it's how we've all more or less been trained to think. If you don't understand it, destroy it. And, uh, but Phil Donahue completely missed the, he didn't ask any of the right questions to himself. He's, he's not just doing a disservice to, to the, the idiots watching this video. He didn't ask himself the question, what would, what would make why would I want to throw a rock at someone for being a different religion? And he, and that is forgivable. What's not forgivable is that it's 70 years later and this man hasn't asked the question, would a Jehovah's Witness, would it, if there was a billion Jehovah's Witnesses in the world and one million Catholics, do you think a Jehovah's Witness wouldn't be standing outside your door with a rock? Hey, <laughs> It's all obedience. It's not people thinking. The Jehovah's Witnesses didn't do anything to anyone. And he tries to explain it by saying Jehovah's Witnesses knocked on people's doors on Sunday mornings. And it was irritating. And therefore, they wanted to throw a rock at them. Ah, that makes sense. Jehovah's Witnesses being mildly irritating is not why people want to throw rocks at them. And it's not why a thousand people back in the 1940s did get beat up or tarred or feathered. Or whatever, and I'm. The thing is, there's always somebody doing it to somebody somewhere. And we're this late in the game, and I I feel exasperated sometimes because nobody's asking the question of why. Why do we always have to obey other people? It's not. It's not like we're we're in some you know uh, Jim Henson production where some puppet character lives for a thousand years and can explain. This isn't the never-ending story where some 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 puppet creature can explain. Mm, ah, we you're you're the wise creature that sits upon the, the mountain top. We're human beings. We all live for seventy years and then we die. When is it going to start dawning on people that the people telling you what to do don't know any more than you do? There, there's a machine that was moving before you came into this earth. It's going to be moving after you move to this earth. It's a machine. You obey the machine. The Jehovah's Witnesses obey the machine. The Catholics obey the machine. The, the, oh, the British are coming. The, whatever. The, when is it going to dawn on you? There are no, there's no, these, these artificial differences 
that people create to explain these situations are falsified. These aren't real. There's no such thing as Jehovah's Witnesses. There's no such thing as a Catholic. It's just bullshit. There's nothing. There's nothing there. The differences that, that people use as excuses to throw rocks at each other are created. They're contrived. Uh, I just wanted to leave you with one last thought here. This this is the Jove this is the Jehovah's Witness Superhero 22. Ah, oh, I love them. Well, you have made your decision. Please don't blame others. Enjoy your life. <laughs> I've never had anyone tell me to enjoy my life and it sounds so condescending. <laughs> it reminds me of what Jehovah's Witnesses say it, it, when it, when somebody says Merry Christmas. When, the, when someone in a grocery store says, Merry Christmas, to a Jehovah's Witness, and the Jehovah's Witness responds with, you Have a good day. Enjoy your day. <laughs> um, uh, it, it just, uh, it's very telling to me that this man read this story uh, about, about me getting my, of me pers giving personal testimony that uh, my obedience and not and not saluting the flag had nothing to do with appreciation of God, and it had only to do with fear of the repercussions. And this man's response was, "Don't blame others for your." Act. I would tell him his. I, I I told him the story that my parents whipped my ass until it was soaked with blood. They whipped my ass until blood came out. And this man, this man's this Jehovah's Witness man's response was. Please don't blame others. you talking about? Bishop Holbin, Cleveland. In the 80s, Jesus was born! So here, you know, I was so grateful that I'm a Catholic. Mm -hmm. I'm so grateful and, uh, I was born into the truth. Yeah. I'm going to look through Armageddon. In this, what goes on in there? Oogly boogly. It's a Masonic <laughs> hall. Educate yourself. And I, as, the more I thought about it. Kingdom halls were designed... If I had been politically conscious... Which By Masons! They have the same layout as a Masonic temple. I'm not proud to... But, you know, if you, you don't understand the problem if you don't at least confront your own... You can't rise above this and say, oh, how could people do that? The nation was coming down on these people. I mean, I, I have a mental picture of little William Gobitis third grade. You're so full of shit. Holding on to the pocket of his britches. Or the teacher tried to pull his arm up. Oh, it's terrible. Oh. I just can't imagine being in the third grade and being the only kid. That's the worst thing you can imagine. Who won't salute the flag. Mm -hmm. And how, how brave these little kids were. And how... Oh my God. I remember and obedient they were stop stop and stood oh it's terrible look look at that face how could you say no to that face i was ready to beat the shit out of a jehovah's witness until phil donahue shamed me oh the shame the shame of it all. Well, the good news is Jehovah's Witnesses are eating this up. You fucking Illuminati tool. Um, I'm sorry, friends. I'm calming down now. Um, it's... I... I missed my cartoons this morning, so I'm very irritated. I... I... I was coaxed into falling asleep by my... Uh, by my little cat, Snowbell. And... I was asleep for hours, woke up irritated. And... I, I got it. The reason I'm... What am I even doing here? Oh, I got a comment that really cheesed me off. We have a problem here. Phil Donahue was talking about the 1940s 
and Jehovah's Witnesses uh, being d- discriminated against, persecuted. Um, to me, it is, it's, uh, it's, this is so ridiculous on so many levels. It's literally, I've been meaning to address this for a few weeks and I haven't got around to it. It's too painful. This is too brain racking. It's so stupid. This is so stupid. How, how reverent and obedient they were. Bingo! You nailed it. We finally get to the heart of the matter. Phil, Phil Honahue on Jehovah's Witnesses Gobitis, 1940. What the hell is this? How dare you? To their parents. And we. How beat up dare you? Says they came into town to solicit. We hated Remember that word soliciting. The in the middle of the morning of Sunday when you're in your bathrobe and trying to read. The wait, paper wait. The let me get this straight. The people in your town beat up Jehovah's Witnesses for knocking on the door on Sunday morning, and they thought it was it was annoying to them. I'm gonna rewind. Just I am I missing something here? Let me let me rewind this just a just a touch, just a tiny bit. I mean, I don't want to miss one of your beautiful words, Phil Honeyhue. And we we beat up those adults as they came in. You town dick. To solicit. We hated these people. They knocked on the door in the middle of the morning of Sunday when you're in your bed. You hated people for knocking on your door when you're when you're sitting in your cigarette jacket on a Sunday morning drinking orange juice and smoking cigarettes. You're you are senile. You're 16 years old, you walk by a Kingdom Hall, today you're going to walk by a Kingdom Hall and actually go into one. What was your reaction as a Catholic thinking about Jehovah's Witness? I used to have a girlfriend who lived probably a couple miles from my house, so I walked over there as often as I could. And as I walked to her home on Rocky River Drive. Rocky River Drive. Ohio. Cleveland, Ohio. I would pass a building and it said Kingdom Hall on it. Oh, Lord. And I knew Jehovah, you know, it was all. Exactly. But what I remember Jehovah most Jehovah. vividly was my feeling about this. Who were these people? Mm-hmm. Wait, if that's your first reaction, don't you think something's Catholic. wrong? I mean, I'm 16. If you walk by some people and you say, what? I have a pope who can't make mistakes on matters of faith and morals. Oh, I did too. Um, Yeah, I'm a Jehovah's Witness. I had the same thing. I'm an Irish Catholic. Oh, I'm not just a JW. I'm an Elvish kid. At least in my limited 16-year-old vision, was Irish. In the 80s, Jesus was born. And the knock on the door drove people crazy. Knock a knock on the door drove people crazy. And that's why Jehovah's Witnesses had to be beaten. You are so full of shit. This is record breaking. I've never seen anything like it. And, you know, the more you look at this, you can see we're at war. Americans are dying in the Pacific, European theater. People die everywhere every day. You know People what, wouldn't dying. Have, wouldn't have lived a fly. What did you always... What the fuck is this? You cannot overstate the contempt, the loathing that we had for those. Um, I'm going to I'm gonna break here. There's more. There's more. I, I, I can't... I, I just can't watch this man. This this man is is beyond idiotic. This this is one of the... Uh, um, it, well, it's... I, I don't want to... Um, I don't want to take up too much of your time here, folks. Uh, basically, this is a gag video 
for me. We have here, uh, you may recognize this man, Phil Honahue. He had a baking and cooking show in the 1980s, and it was legendary stuff. Um, it was, I, I, why, why are we even here? I don't remember. Oh, he's talking about Jehovah's Witnesses. And he's going to explain how these people are misunderstood.